Slava Ukraini, Heroim Slava. On day one of the war in Ukraine, Kyiv entrepreneur and junior lieutenant Yevgenia Emerald joined the territorial defense of Ukraine. A few days later, she became an officer of the Special Regiment of the Ukrainian Army. I wanted to join the army back in 2014 when the military action in Ukraine started, but I had a small baby back then. This time when the war started, I did not hesitate. I can't imagine doing anything else right now. Yerena Chernohus has been a combat medic with the armed forces of Ukraine for the past two years. I joined the army partially because I've always wanted to do it. But I couldn't join in 2014 because I gave birth on April 14, 2014, right when it all started. In January 2020, it so happened that my boyfriend, who served in the army, died on sight. So I decided to join in his memory. According to Ukraine's Ministry of Defense, by late 2021, about 32,000 women belonged to Ukraine's armed forces. Katerina Primak is a co-founder of the Ukrainian Women Veteran Movement. For over seven years, she has been fighting for women's rights in the armed forces. But she says despite all her efforts, women still often don't have equal rights with men in the army. If a woman is serving in the army and she has a child and husband waiting for her at home, you can imagine what a more traditional society will say about such a woman, even though a woman has the right to choose any career, or both husband and wife can be in the military. On top of that, women say they need to work twice as hard to earn the respect of their male colleagues. I'll be honest, the first two weeks were very tough. But now I have proven myself with my hard work and persistence. And the guys accept me fully. And you know what? They are like family to me now. In the eight years since the first military action in the Donbas region in 2014, the number of women joining the ranks has risen considerably. And the Ukrainian Women Veteran Movement has achieved considerable progress in reaching gender equality in the spheres of safety and defense. Women are now seen as equals. They are being treated as people with rights. That's a very big step. No one ever talked about sexual violence or harassment in the military previously. And now this topic has ceased to be taboo. We are working with it. For now, she says, the most pressing issues are having enough weapons and medications for both men and women. She is encouraging the country's Western allies to do what they can to help. Maria Bruce, VOA News.